Oh, again, he's like, oh man, you didn't have to, you didn't have to slap him like that. That was literally a pimp slap, man. Yo, it's your boy Betty, and today we do have Fire Force with episode 13 titled A Pair of One Eyes and 14, which is kind of in spoiled for me from the thumbnail. But regardless, it's been a while, so I'm excited to get into it. Hit the like and subscribe button, especially if you are. And yeah, let's get into some Fire Force. How I got spoiled. <laughs> Basically. But yeah, Joker was doing his thing with um, Benny Morrow. And of course, we saw obviously the captain of the squad one. Captain Burns. <laughs> See, I don't feel like Joker is as strong as I initially thought now. Like, after watching the last episode and seeing how he was going against the other dude. I don't know, man. They made him. They kind of weakened him for me. But we'll see if he's able to do anything against Captain Burns. We know that this dude is OP, so. Oh, Steve's kind of dope. He's like, wait, Benny Mar is here? No, I don't want the smoke. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Let me hear what you have to say. Yeah, he doesn't want the smoke. Why are you here then? Give you some leads? Yeah, what are you doing here? Mm. Wow, that's him when he was younger. So something happened, and the holy temple kept it quiet. Yeah, so they literally just hushed that down. Oh, flashback episode? Come on now, dogs. <laughs> wow. Literally looks like those insect bugs. How interesting. Something was, yeah. Whoa. Oh, burns his eye. And check this. Wait a second. Both of them cover their eyes. I didn't even, I didn't even put two and two. Hence the name of the episode. So was this the Adola link? Wow, they were just literally just chilling in a never. I love this OST so much, man. It's so fire. <laughs> <laughs> like every time I hear it, I think I've, had, I've been creating like an anime OST playlist and I've added it in. Yeah, Jacob was tough from day, but I mean, considering his upbringing, man, because that was crazy. I mean, he would be tough. Yeah, so you see the bug. And both of their eyes. So this is transported then. Whoa, that looks so mad. A high dimension. The world truth laws. Whoa. So the both of their eyes just literally burn up. He's feeling all the pain. And they both saw the same thing. But wait, we've seen that figure before. I can't remember where we saw that figure. I think it was like like Amaterasu and all of that sort of stuff, but we definitely saw it. 
Oh, wow. Jeez, that's crazy. That's so dark because it adds such a like interesting layer to this whole mystery. I am quite curious like what is actually going down because I have no idea. This feels really new and fresh in terms of, I don't know, the, the ideas they're exploring. He's capping. The way he reacted so quickly. I don't know if I believe you. This is the second time you've come up sus. This single bird. How, who's going to report this back to Squad A? Because obviously our squad needs to know this. <laughs> like we're investigating the same case, but Joker doesn't really have a close connection to Shinra like that. Unless he shows up to Shinra and he's like, you know, ready to divulge it all. But I don't really see that happening. I mean, that definitely could be useful, but it's told from one perspective, one account. Could have been changed. And are we assuming the Adola Burst here is a person? Because now I'm starting to think that all of the Amaterasu's are powered by like a human who with like an Adola Burst. Different person. Like he's been possessed, which we've seen as possible, like possible with people with the Adola. For thirty years, yeah. So he was literally possessed. Yeah. That's a good question. Now, disclaimer this is a different day. Obviously, we're in a different outfit as I had to nip out essentially, but we are still carrying on, so I just wanted to let you know. But yeah, obviously, back with Fire Force, the one with the one eye. Things were getting exciting, so yeah, let's get right into it. So, we're back with the new Adola Link girl. Oh. Wow, we're getting reveals. This person looks like a Black Clover character, <laughs> like legit. He's putting some respect on you, man. Because, yeah, as soon as Benny Moro turned up, he literally did not want the smoke. It kind of reminded me of, like, Kizaru with, like, um, Ben Beckman turning up in, like, One Piece. If you guys know the meme I'm talking about, I was like, ooh, Ben Beckman. <laughs> with just one eye. Again, in reference to the episode title. I never put two and two. Again, like them covering their eyes and stuff and how that was connected, but it's really interesting. Oh, they're way more connected, yeah. And we kind of suspected that too. 
So Raffles first, this guy who's still posing as like Raffles third, he's basically immortal. But we're wondering, I guess, if the, if whether this person is like a fifth dimensional being, because it seems like that, that might be the case. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I trust Burns. I don't know. It's all too. Do you know what I mean? It's all working in our favor too easily. It just makes him way more sus in my eyes. The music here is so ominous. Rekka. Oh, he's still about? Wait, are they testing on him? Because, yeah, we knew Rekka was trying to create new, like, you know, was it like third generation beings and stuff? So maybe he was trying to, like, find a new Adola Link. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, and again, how are you going to put two and two with what Joker's just learned? Please tell me it's like fireproof boots. I bet it is actually, after I've been saying that. Because they have been putting emphasis on the fact that Shinra always just burns his shoes. So I bet this actually might be something in relation to that. I hope so. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wrong person, bro. Uh oh. Oh, that's no boots. It looks like a shaker. Like, a, not a shaker. What are they called? Like one of those like smoothie machines. Wait, is she joining our squad? I mean, she's wearing our robes. She had some cool abilities, so it'd be dope if she actually joined, because we need to, uh... <laughs> Welcome to the Ave. <laughs> oh my god, this sister's crazy. <laughs> so it is a smoothie maker? That's so dead, man. <laughs> they literally hyped it all up. I was thinking this is going to be some cool invention. <laughs> Wait, what's Squad 7 doing here? Waka waka, eh eh. Nice, so this is how they're going to tie the information in, like everything that we learned. Get him to come through and let us know. That makes sense. Name Joker, yeah, here we go. Okay, okay, I guess this works. God damn, Lato. <laughs> no, why do have to? I mean, look at please. Yeah, so we're learning everything. Okay, cool. You don't have to repeat this bit of exposition though, just, just get to what you're gonna do. Cause yeah, Captain Burns. Oh, of course, she was working for the evangelist, so... Oh, she's still under the influence of Giovanni. Of course, man, she was manipulated, like, what was it, Stockholm Syndrome? She basically had that. Yeah. Which means this connection goes deep. Like, deep, deep. And also, if you topple these empires, companies, etc, etc, like, what's that gonna mean for your country, man? Because, like, Amaterasu has already been kind of shown to be powering everything, so... 
if you go in and try and like take down the people who are like making things run yeah. and also why would they be helping the country and not trying to do something like what happened to the chinese peninsula i don't know i got questions still Oh, are they gonna start to understand that? Uh oh. Uh oh, this ain't good. This ain't good at all. Because, like, if they know he's researching it, they're probably gonna try and take him out. Hibana? Uh oh. Wait, is this all part of the plan? Yeah, she knows, man. Damn, she's dirty. Victor, this is dangerous. But then we still don't know much about Victor. He might be way more, like, capable than he's actually shown himself to be. Is that Blackberry that he's using? Oh, he was working for them to keep watch over Shinra. So these guys clearly know the truth with the way that they're leading this like dialogue. Oh, he was playing the Game Boy. Oh my God. To our lab. What's he gonna say? Oh. He's not gonna say no? Yeah, see they're talking about taking him out. So he doesn't have any powers, or at least from what he's told him, and also from what he's shown us. Wow, interesting. Obviously that's not gonna happen. So let's see how this goes down next episode. So yeah, episode, so this is what I saw, this is the spoiler. Episode 14, the Ashen Reaper, and obviously as you can see, my name, uh, my dude Rekka is on like the thumbnail. But anyways, maybe this isn't anything to do with Rekka being alive. Maybe this is like a flashback, because we know we're talking about how they were using him, you know. So I made you some fireproof boots. <laughs> Imagine if Lisa was actually still betraying us. Was he? There is actually still a lot we don't know about Shinra, like his time at the academy, his time before, like how he's able to like use his abilities, because he knows how to actually like utilize them quite well. And we can assume obviously this was due to his time at the academy, but they haven't really given us much besides obviously what happened when his mother died, supposedly. Interesting. They start running tests. Mm. Oh, Victor is here. He looks or like onimous. Oh no, he's actually gonna go through with it. Cause I guess, I, I don't know man, what is like he up to? Because obviously he joined squad eight and you'd think that like, cause we know he's got ulterior motives and he's working with the Joker. You'd think that he'd be more maybe loyal to squad eight because it seems like Joker's intentions align with squad eight. But now that he's like following what Hajima want them to do, I'm a bit like, well, wait a second, actually. Like, are your motives different from the Joker? Meaning that actually maybe you are more allied with Hajima. I don't know, because obviously Hajima kind of goes against what Joker is trying to do. So there's a, there's a lot here. It just, it, I don't know. Obviously, we'll probably get answers in this episode, but um, yeah, I kind of just want to lay it out. <laughs> Definitely jump in the gun, possibly, possibly. Okay. Okay, he's on our side. He's telling everyone. Okay, cool. Yeah. I should have just waited. <laughs> I should have waited, literally. Ooh. 
Why why are they acting like they knew already? They knew already. <laughs> okay, that's dope. Well So they knew To use Wamataratsu? So maybe they have been collecting the Dola Burst people, which is what my initial thoughts were. That they were using people who had awakened the Adola Burst to power up the Amaterasu. Wow, so he was there from for literally seven years. That's so long. <laughs> That's funny. Damn. You did have to put it like that, Victor. Yeah. And I honestly think it's to use it for Amaterasu. Maybe the person they're utilizing, I don't know, because it's meant to be like a never ending flame, so. Actually, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Raccoon, dude. <laughs> when he does that, it seems like, I don't know, he's like being rude with it, but <laughs> maybe that's just my mind. Exactly, it's like, why are you doing this? Why are you revealing the truth now? Yeah, asking the right questions as Captain. Right, that does not fill me with uh, confidence. Is that someone that's pot human pot infernal? So these guys are going to be strong. Oh, that's that, that's that guy that became, he looks crazy, so does that dude. Yeah, that was the guy that got turned into a third generation by Rekka. Hence why I'm, I was thinking maybe it might be a flashback that we see Rekka. Interesting, he looks fire. Even this dude with his arm. Yeah, there's Rekka, there's the flashback. I'm a bit more happy, for sure. <laughs> so Uncle Reaper seems like he's like a trainer. I don't think you're gonna go home, boy. You're not going home until you're dead. Damn, how can you say that to a kid? Damn. Oh my god, Wrecker is in his mind. Oh no, he's going crazy. Oh no. Because <laughs> obviously Wrecker was crazy. Oh my god. Well, this is so loud. <laughs> well, you should have to turn the volume down a little bit. Oh, Rekka, look what you've done to him, man. He's crazy. Whoa. Why is he influenced by Rekka so much? I'm confused. Oh, he can make claws. I mean, do you think it was going to be that quick? God, we, they're really using Shinra as a case study. That's crazy. Oh, again, he's like, oh, man, you didn't have to. You didn't have to slap him like that. That was literally a pimp slap, man. All he was missing was the powder. <laughs> it's crazy. 
。为什么看威廉姆斯的？你 still gonna be on him? Ah,、oh, this is like watching Kawaki and Jigen. Damn, he literally is. We're obviously gonna see him go against someone, maybe even Shinra. Carbonized from. Wow. So he's like twisted. Because of the fact that he kind of became a half internal, in, in, internal, infernal. Wow. Damn. Put him on a stretcher. Where's your child abuser, man? Number one child abuser. Kurono means black, right? I mean, Kuro means black. So what does Kurono mean? <laughs> the blackest? <laughs> I don't know, but just let me know in the comments if you know. I'm interested. Yo, chill. Dang. So they don't control him. He's like, don't touch me. He's like, he touched it. <laughs> no, he tapped, man. Oh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing they've got some history then, because if he's been there for a while, then he's probably beat on Shinra in the past as well. Yeah, see, he knows him, so I'm guessing we're gonna see a clash. I wonder if they're gonna try and put like some sort of control over Shinra. Probably, right? Knowing that he's got an Adola link. They might be like, okay, he'll be uncontrollable without being like, well, like I don't know, without having like some sort of inhibitor or like mind control chip. I don't know. I don't know what he is, but I just have a feeling that yeah, it's not gonna be as easy as they think. There he is. So they have met in the past. Whoa. The hell. Oh, he's a creep. <laughs> it's so good looking. <laughs> Should say it's so good moving, but. Black smoke, right? The maddest paraconnect. Victor, you're way too chill, bro. Because they're about to kill you once. Uh... Once you walk through that building, sorry, these cheese chicken dippers, the cheese dippers, cheese, mozzarella dippers, actually. So I'm guessing I'll separate them and then try and take out Victor. I'm wondering whether Squad A are prepared ahead. I was literally about to say that. Oh, so he knows, and he's saying that in front of the security guard as well. Why are you talking about this out in the open? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Damn, you really are out here for yourself, there, man. You crazy? Remind me of Veg like a、uh, Vega Punk a little bit. Ah,、uh, yeah. Like, like I said, I just don't think it's gonna be that easy because these guys are talking out in the open about their plan and how they know they're they're about to get mugged and like you know Hajima don't care. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They're not reacting to anything being said, which makes me feel like they have everything under control. You know, it's like it's like okay, I see what you're trying to do. <laughs> oh, interesting. Wait, is that right? Because we saw the other guy here. Yeah, so he's capping. Yeah, of course. I was gonna say that can't be right. Wait, that means he has an Adola link. If Shinra sensed him, right? As in, like he has an Adola burst. Yeah. 
Again, still talking about it in the open. At least it seems like they're whispering. Oh, she looks crazy. Yeah. Cool. We'll get to see a battle, I think. A little bit of it. Oh, so they haven't fought before? Yeah, they haven't. Damn, yeah, you literally are like carbon copy of Ahsoka, more like a beta version. I, I don't know, man, like B-Tech <laughs> version 2. Why are your eyes like that? Yeah, it's like step back, man. Let's go then. Let's go. Whoa. Wait, what the hell? Right hand eclipse. What did I do? He's bleeding. Is it like many explosions? Like he throws the smoke at someone and then like explodes them. And I guess the smoke like implodes whatever kind of thing. Let's go. Wow, he's fast. Woo, nice Shinra. This dude is good though. Shinra's getting work. Yeah, that's so crazy. It must be the black smoke. Maybe he's like able to use it to like predict or not even predict, but like maybe send someone's like movements and kind of anticipate it based off of that. There's definitely more to this black smoke and we're obviously going to get exposition around it, but uh, he looks dope when he uses it though. There's still no way you can deal with it. Yeah, I knew it. So the black smoke links the senses. That's how I react to the speed of your attacks. Hence why he said there's nothing you can do about it. As long as you, the smoke is around. And Shinra doesn't really have a move that can deal with it, right? Let's see you try then. <laughs> that looks clean. Wow, this guy is actually really good. I was not expecting him to be this good. I actually kind of thought Shinra might come in and, and work him, but to be honest, and I've been saying this this whole season, Shinra is actually kind of low-key weak. <laughs> like, he really is. Oh, so you can make a weapon out of it? You can. Nah, this dude is dope. Oh! Wow, that's so cool. So you can solidify the smoke into what? That's cool. That's cool. Damn, Shinra! Oh, are you, are you so weak? <laughs> Literally. I guess this is good training. Like, he does need it. He's not gonna stop. He don't care. Yeah. Damn, he covered up the whole room. Okay, this dude is dangerous. This dude, like, he's a problem. Yo, Shinra, I don't know what you're gonna do, man. The episode's gonna end. Oh, damn, that was actually really good. Wow, what an episode, man. This Kurono, I think his name was. Very dope. Great introduction. Like, he came across a bit weak initially, and I guess. I guess the reason why I had that assumption was because he was fighting kids, essentially, right? So it just made it seem like, I don't know, like he was just kind of exerting strength based off of that. But actually, when Shinra came through and granted, you know, despite my thoughts, he still got worked <laughs> and quickly as well. Because like the way the black smoke works, it seems like it's very versatile. And Kurono knows what he's doing, man. It's, it's quite exciting to see what else he's got in store because he seems like he seems crazy. But yeah, I absolutely loved it. And uh, yeah, let's get to the review portion of this and uh, let's dissect.
So yeah, absolutely dope. A couple of episodes. It's great to see more development and exposition around what's truly going on. And now we know that obviously Raffles, the first to the third, is essentially the same person, potentially someone who is immortal, who's been obviously linked with the evangelists as well. So really, the evangelists are essentially running everything, and it has been for a while through Hajima, through obviously Squad One, you know, and then obviously through the Amaterasu. And now I'm still very curious curious about about the squad one captain because listen my dude is dope my dude is fire but he really seems sus to me i don't know he just seems like he's been in the perfect place at the perfect time he's been involved with everything and he knows a lot more than he's actually put like captain birds is fire he, like legit and there was so much man that they revealed to us in the last two episodes particularly again the interesting link between him and joker and how their eyes were connected through that experience again so crazy that they've brought this to like a i don't know like a a place where we we're exploring dimensional concepts i think that's really really cool and quite exciting for this show because it feels fresh it feels new and very different to what we were experienced with shonen so absolutely loved it definitely excited for the next two of course let me know what you guys thought and definitely drop those thoughts down in the comments like i said let me know if we can react to the osts more than happy to do that i'm quite excited to do that as well so yeah drop that down in the comments as well of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. New viewers, hit the subscribe button. We're on a journey to a thousand. We'd definitely love you, you know, love to have you part of the family. But for everyone else that has shown love, thanks as always. This is of course Big Boy Betty, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.